Here he goes again. Robertson uh, getting a workout. This time he doesn't make it. I just wonder with Mark Wall whether they should do a Graham Gooch and bring a man into short mid wicket, making him try and work the ball somewhere else. Here he goes again. Four more. It's a picnic at the moment. Boundary's coming thick and fast. Nine off the over. One for 28. Well, he's hit that one nice and hard, and that will go for four. That was over pitched and just outside off stump, and uh, he really lunged himself at it and got the placement right too. That's a lovely shot by Mark Waugh. Well, that's short as well, and that's well played. Just bounced a little bit, and this will get to the fence too. The rope's in there, and so the fieldsman won't cut it off. McIntyre rushing around that boundary, but uh, that was a bad delivery from Rifle. Waugh waited for it. Got right over the top of it and uh, played this immaculate shot. Two terrific shots. First one played just in front of point, the other one just behind. Placement was magnificent, but uh, the timing and the control, quite beautiful to watch. Here we go again, that's another good shot. That'll bring up the 50 all the way along the ground. Will it get to the fence? Not quite. That's very well done. Blew it down there, dragging that one back. What another tremendous shot that was. Well, that brings up the 50. And watch this bit of fielding. Drags it back. Well done. A little bit of a rope burn there as he went over the top of that very thick rope down the boundary. time he tries to come down and hit the ball hard he's advanced to that brings up the 50 for Mark War he tried to advance on Shane George hit it back over his head the outside edge fairly flew away down to third man and that's a very good 50 for Mark War he's really made batting look easy here this morning and when he's on song he really does make the game look easy a strike rate of 108.7 that's great cricket Well, his batting's been so effortless this morning. It's almost, you get the impression that he expects to get a run every ball he receives. It's not that he might do, he just expects it to go somewhere off the middle of the bat. Well, just as I said, that's not quite off the middle of the bat, but it certainly went for four. It's his day so far. Australia two for 87 to try and score much quicker at the moment keep the wickets in hand just keep knocking the ball around like that quite simple well the Australians got the run rate up to five in the tenth over and they've kept it above five right through now to uh, over 24 well placed and they've got the boundary in early so this has been a terrific exhibition of batting between Mark War and Boone charges him man down it could be ours coming in he's got him good catch through it picks him up much like yesterday when Thor hit down the ground court at long on this time Mark War charges Merv Hughes and Greg Blewett Took a superb catch, so Mark wore out for 93. Well, that was uh, as unnecessary as anything you'd ever see. They're scoring at five runs and over at the moment. Century there for the taking, and also the chance of getting the Australian target set for the A's up to uh, around about 260, 70. And a fine catch by Greg Blewett. Judged it perfectly. Not easy when they're so low and you're coming in straight towards the ball. Three for 163.